Um, I'm doing a general reading right now. It's gonna be basically for whoever needs it. The week of March 9th. Um, if this doesn't resonate with everyone, it's not really supposed to. But I'm sure there are a few other tarot readers out there that would be more than happy to give you another reading. Um, I trust like a sailor. So, no offense. If you don't like that, again, there are plenty of tarot readers out there. we have I feel like I need to yell at you guys because this the tablets volume that I have it, it's not very loud whatsoever or it doesn't have a very good microphone on it Ooh. yeah one Okay, the top row is going to be your energy. Middle row is your partners. Sorry, I'm kind of anal and over confused. <laughs> is shared between you guys. cards as we go. I think these will be kind of regarding the situation with an offer at the bottom of the deck. So you might be single or kind of sort of dating or talking to someone. First card out is you're being manipulative about a situation or trying to sneak away from someone. Could be dealing with an Aries Libra Gemini. You're trying to change some type of situation which will go into this situation right here I think somebody you ended something and you're going towards something new um, feels like whatever manipulation was there either you saw it or this person saw it because I see this as this crow is like trying to speak to you about this so there might have been talk about an ending so you're you might be wanting to go towards this person because there's single energy here if you're wanting to give an offer. Yep, definite single energy. 
um, your person that you're dealing with is has that player vibe to it, but that's coming to an end. Because we have the tower here. Um, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, um, an Aries, or again, another Aries or Scorpio. The energy that you guys both share is healing after being betrayed and trying to be friends with each other. So this might be an ex that you're dealing with. Either that, or this is your person actually trying to manifest you and create this ending. So you're kind of just standing now there in the background watching this happen, watching this transformation. Um, but in the meantime, both of you guys are healing after... A betrayal and I mean it, it doesn't have to be that bad because I see you guys trying to be friends okay you refused an offer and there was blocked communication because they were involved with someone else and it just became a burden to you. Okay, I kind of want to do this manipulation real quick. I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me. Like I said, um, the mic on this isn't the best. And my kids are in the background and... I have kind of an offset washer trying to walk away. Okay, first card, new beginning. So yeah, you're definitely one to new beginning. Either that or you were dealing with someone and found out that they were in another situation. So you're looking for a new beginning elsewhere, kind of using your intuition on it and you block this person out. Either that or this is them to you. Sorry, I'm trying to get that chick down. But, the, you're going towards long-term security. That's what you or this person want. I see there being regret here. Maybe this person has recently become single. Because I see this as, yeah, this is player energy, but it's also, like, this horse in the background is about to do a full-on fucking sprint. And they're passionately manifesting. What they're manifesting, it looks like, is this ending. So that they can heal and... Come in with an offer that I think you're possibly going to refuse. Either that or the, you or this person have rejected the other one because of this situation. And because of this situation, there's blocked communication. And somebody's feeling the weight of it. Okay, okay we're going to go through this manipulation real quick. Yeah, somebody came in, um, whether it was you or them, um, kind of like they wanted a new beginning. Yeah, it, there is either an ending or a soul tie with a water sign. Yeah, they're, you're broken, so you're moving forward. Mom, I need to go to the 
Sorry, baby. Let's see what this passion is about. That is way too many, but again, the Knight of Swords. So someone is moving forward with what they want in a situation. I'm thinking that this is kind of, the energies are reversed. Because see one person is happily single. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Yeah, happily single and doing themselves being the Empress. And they're manifesting a tower. This person could be manifesting a separation. Or this is how they see you. They see you as a star that has your shit together, nurtures everybody. They might be making passionate action towards you and just... There's regret here because they regret not going for what they want. They regret being manipulative about money. Um... I see them trying to change and come back together with you. Yeah, they're manifesting. So you might be a water sign with Libra in your chart. Maybe some, some Aquarius. Yeah, the devil, now they're obsessed with getting you back. Because you've actually put your foot down and said no. Maybe they rejected you in the past and blocked you out. I'm sorry, but this is kind of resonating with me too. So... And I did my reading prior so that my energies were separate. Learn to love what you have before you le learn to love what you lost, right? The tower. Okay, after this tower, they're going to come towards you. Whether it be with communication or what. You could be dealing with someone with Aries, Scorpio, or Cancer in their chart. Either that or it's causing them a tower seeing you move forward. Okay, holding back is crossed over the Ten of Swords and the Page of Cups, which I kind of find that significant because this is like you're holding back your feelings. You're both hurt over this. And you both want to be able to have this friendship or at least some part in each other's life could be dealing with a Virgo but um it's just not happening you both are holding back because there's a lot of regret here possible fear of rejection Let's see, so they're manifesting you, either that or they've moved on to someone else that they see as an empress, or a star, queen of cups, judgment, no, somebody awakening to someone else being their soulmate, they're moving for that. Here, I kind of want to do this one because again, I see where they land as significant sometimes just depending but with this awakening card it's also a reconciliation could be a definite Scorpio or somebody with Scorpio heavy in their chart okay I think this is, okay, there, you have a jealous ex here, that's trying to manifest you, 
while you're getting over manipulative behavior and heartbreak and all this good shit, um, it might have been someone who rejected you in the past or you are rejected somebody in the past, block communication, and you're just going forward, um, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Either that, or you have a younger air sign and an older fire sign as options. But I haven't seen the options card yet, like the Seven of Cups, Options, Illusions, good shit. That's the card that I see here. I think you're leaving something to go towards something else that makes you happy. I kind of want to do this. Queen of Cups. Let's see what's going on with this. Oh, somebody's juggling. So yeah, it definitely they see you with other suitors or they see that you've more moved blah, 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 can't even talk so somebody is trying to want to talk to you about this shit um they could see you as juggling two options which i mean you are and that's what's causing their regret and causing this person to hold back Because you've moved on or moved forward. Sorry. Could have been a work related situation. I just saw the Eight of Pentacles as well. You're healing. You both are healing, and there's karmic justice here. Either that, or you both are dealing with a court case. I feel like this court case is kind of entwining your person. Either that, or they've realized their karma, and now they're thinking on it and healing from it. Let me get the justice card. I want to see if it has to do with children. Yeah, there could be a pregnancy involved as well. Either that or some, uh, you're nurturing new ideas. Um, you're kind of in the spotlight right now. I seriously feel the seven of cups here. Either that or you're just not fucking with anybody. You're trying to uh, manifest your own change. King of Swords. You could have a fire sign or an air sign. Yeah, that or... Let's see. There's a lot of earth on this. And air. Yeah. Maybe this person got hurt in the same way that they hurt you. And now that they're realizing this, they're manifesting this tower. Yeah, because somebody needs to take a step forward and let the past go. Because either that or you both realize that this is just being stuck in the thought of betrayal. is kind of burdening them and you're just trying to work on yourselves right now. Either that or 
This could be you. And I think they're dealing with a situation as well that they're healing from. Like I said, it could have possibly been a work situation. Yeah, you guys are moving forward. Maybe towards just having friends for now. Or moving towards trying to be friends after this. Either that or you're moving towards a younger water sign. Because, hmm, I have a lot of cups here too. So there might be a lot of emotion between the two of you guys and you're it looks like you're just focusing on your money and they see that yeah definitely probably working within water sign this is okay the way I see this dropping the burdens and moving forward well this person is dropping the burdens moving towards a friendship like having a stable type of situation for this love here because i see this as growth because yeah um There's love here, but there's also obsession, addictions, things that stand in you guys' way. Like there's a soul tie here. You could be dealing with someone with Capricorn in their chart as well, this is Major Arcana. King and Queen of Wands, okay. They might have been dealing with a fire sign that was pretty manipulative. They might have a sex addiction. That's because, okay. You have these two, which is love, friendship, all this kind of stuff. But you have the devil right here in between that and a manipulative bitch. So they're stuck on somebody from their past. Either that or like I said, this could be one of those things where they're trying to get out of this situation to go towards this situation because they realized how much they hurt you. Sorry, kids are doing World War Three again, guys. Somebody's working on their own abundance. Yeah. So you feel left out in the cold with this person, definite, probably blocked communication, but seems to be that because of this rejection, cycles are finally ending and you're looking towards your own stability. Let's do this blocked communication. Why is there blocked communication? You well, besides the fucking situation in general, you might have just decided to block this person out and now they're, your absence is felt. Put it that way. So yeah, you might be working on this new beginning. Since I mean the, 
the Ace of Wands came up at the bottom of the deck earlier, too. And there's also up here. So you might be sneaking away from this person in a, in a different situation. And just cutting the fuck off. So make me find so fucking done with you, girl. So fucking done with all the games you play. I ain't no ticket. So say it's a nose and another note I'm ghost. <laughs> so yeah, you're ghosting this person. I feel it. You're like, I'm done, motherfucker, because I'm done. Fuck you. Fuck your stupid bitch. We're moving forward now. And you got your eyes set on a new beginning. You you have... Give me a second. I feel like there's multiple options for you. Now that you've re uh, like gotten your mind off of this situation and realized what it was. Yeah, you you or them left someone somebody left somebody out in the cold and was just like fuck you I'm good no more I'm not putting my time into it I'm not putting my energy into it if you're gonna keep on with the bullshit and there's so much betrayal here karma is gonna step in. One of you is being smart about it, though, and just walking away. No rhyme, no reason. There's regret here. So that, again, your presence is definitely, well, absence is definitely felt. The burden. Oh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, you're right. You're just cutting this bullshit out. Like, you came up as the Queen of Swords in this. Sorry, wrong side. Queen of Swords. This is one of those... I see her hand as a... Try me. Come on. I dare ya. Try to bring these dumbass fucking burdens in my fucking house and I'ma just shoo you out the motherfucking door and make you walk the fuck back. That is what it feels like. Maybe you've dropped this person because you found out they were in another situation and now you're going towards celebrating a union with the fire sign from the past, possibly ha a fire sign with Scorpio in their chart. This could be Aries Leo Sag. They could have some air in their chart, Libra Gemini Aquarius. And there's the three of the three of cups. This could have been um, either a definite third party energy. So. Yeah, you blocked this person off. And right here, I feel like you're celebrating instead of it being a third party situation because you've gotten yourself out of this bitch. And then see here. Okay, this, both of them aren't facing this union either. So this could be just you or them reminiscing. And this is going in an entirely different direction. Again, you saw it for what it was. Yeah, that or it's a fire sign that was in a situation. And again, 
cutting that shit off, sending them burdens elsewhere. There's also a King of Pentacles right here. So, this is Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And then right here, there's Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, and Aquarius. But this is cycles ending. So, you started working on yourself, trying to make yourself into this. Sorry for the noise again. You try, you're trying to make yourself into this king of pentacles. It could be male, female, doesn't matter. You're ending all of these fucking retarded ass cycles. They keep coming back to you with the fucking you. People being in other situations, this is why you're coming up as the empress. Because now you know who the fuck you are. You're going for this ten of pentacles. Because you know your fucking worth. You know that you're a fucking star. And everybody is starting to notice you. And now that you're cutting people out, cutting shit out, refusing offers... Somebody's like, literally, this is nostalgia. This is thoughts consuming you about a, wanting a reunion from your past. Either that or you're so, so consumed in this reunion for your past that you're not cutting shit. It could be the other way around, you know? They could be cutting you out because of all this. Kind of goes both ways, guys. Let's see what the fuck you're cutting out. Either that or you're just being a dick. For the right reasons. They're justified. Yeah, you're done with the manipulation. You're done with the lies. You're done with the seat. You're tired of feeling like somebody is out to get you all the time. This is mind games. You're cutting out the fucking mind games. Done with the burdens. See? Yeah. You're pushing through, dude. And not one of these other motherfuckers are going to stop you. You're doing the damn thing. Okay, I want... Gotta be It'd be a long video. Sorry. Okay, now we're going to shuffle these a couple times. Now, we got this offer right here. Somebody's coming in with a gift. Or an invitation. A message. Something of the sort. They're coming in for this Ten of Cups because, again, they've awakened to some shit. Now they're cutting shit out, too. They see you're taking action. And now they're ready for a leap. They're either wanting to bring you out of the cold or you're wanting to bring them out of the cold. I'm pretty sure it's them wanting you to bring them out of the cold. Because, again, they see that you're happy and single and fucking the wheel is in your favor towards... I will go through this entire deck. Not really, but... Um, the wheel is moving forward towards your abundance and... They're in their head because they want to be a part of it. But you cut them the fuck out. Could have been a fire sign. 
Either that or they're taking action towards you. Again, you might have um, water in your chart. This is you keeping your emotions, intuitions all to yourself, being nurturing to yourself. They realize that they have to come correct or not at all. And this is exactly what they're going to do. They're working on being this emperor. Working, distinguishing who the fuck they should give their time and energy to. So there was a reality check here. Now. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. All right, now we're gonna go back to all of this. Okay, we're gonna go back to this offer. You're guarded, or this is the other person. It could the energies could be vice versa. Leave her alone! Could be dealing with the Leo or somebody with Leo in their chart. God damn it, I didn't do it that time. <laughs> but definitely, definite healing going on. This kid. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Again, Five of Swords. Somebody was playing my games and somebody else caught on, basically. They were trying to manipulate themselves toward... You didn't see what was going on, but they see you happy. This got them, either that or you're, whatever you're doing is coming into, like, fruition, is what it's looking at. This is like looking at how happy you are in this content stage, and you are the one with the victory here, while well, they're stuck with this bullshit. <laughs> this offer is because I'm nosy <coughs> okay whatever offer they're coming in with shit hasn't changed it's back to the mind games either that all right we're gonna see if like the ace of swords or something pops up I mean, if it does, then it does. Yeah, that or this is you rejecting their offer because you think they're lying. But somebody knows that you are their security. And I think this is what this wake-up call is about. Is because... They got hurt the same way they hurt you. Now they want to come in with this big shiny pinnacle because they know you're their soulmate. But if you remember back in the uh, the first spread, you were already working on your ten of pinnacles, honey. You're ready to end these toxic cycles. The 
because all this is is toxic. There's two cards here of mind games. Like, this is. They are trying to distract you, is what they're doing. They see you doing good, so they're coming in with more lies and being persistent about it, being immature about it. But the passion's there. You guys are very passionate about each other. It's just whether or not shit's changed or not. Whether they let go of this other person. And in all actuality, I think they're working on it because they see that you are unfazed. You might have had to heal for a little bit. Yeah. They're stuck in their head having sleepless nights. And not making a decision. Yeah. They're in their head. Because they think that if they move forward, all it's going to do is break them even more. See? <laughs> okay. This, uh, you are going towards your options, I see this as. They're, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, they're having sleepless nights about it. They refuse to make a decision in the past. They rejected you. And there is no reunion. Like, this is you saying, um... No love, 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 no love. <laughs> Moving forward. No, you don't have to worry about this manipulation. You ain't got to worry about them fucking with somebody else. Either that or you're not taking action. Yeah. They know that it was their addiction that freaking caused you to cut them out. So, an awakening to the bullshit. They want to drop it. Yeah. They want commitment now because you're not going to deal with it. Trying to come up with more ideas, you know? Betrayal. Like, they know they fucking hurt you. Okay. So, maybe with this new... From what it looked like, you were going towards somebody with, um... Fire in their chart and air in their chart. Let's see. I think you're, you're still stuck in your head about this betrayal as well. With the new person, because under all this, they were being immature, you have lies, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but this could be you as well. This could be you pushing yourself forward into something new. Could be somebody younger or... They could be younger or older than you. You could be the younger person pushing forward toward this new beginning. And walking away from this bullshit because there were way too many secrets. It caused you to actually be solved. To be stuck. You could have Pisces or Cancer in your chart because both, this is Pisces, this is Pisces Cancer. Um, it had you up at night in your head. So you're slowly trying to give an offer to someone else. 
Or this is them slowly coming back to give you an offer. Somebody wants to speak some truth and they think it's going to be a fight. Again, could be have somebody with Leo in their chart wanting to make you an offer for actual happiness now. Let's see. You're holding back from a Sagittarius. But this is a soul tie that actually wants to build with you. They want to go to calmer waters. So it might be a reunion with a fire sign. There could be distance involved or there's a cancer. Could be dealing with a cancer as well. Or that's just you moving to what you want. Okay, so we got, you found out somebody was in another situation. You said, F that, cut that shit out, right? Okay, now you're dealing with somebody else. And this new person is, uh, is actually wanting to give you this beginning that you're wanting. I didn't see anything bad on their part. Either that or this is the same person coming back and trying to get back with you after an inning. So I see two different options here. Okay, we're going to get six of these. See this betrayal? I kind of feel like I need to clarify that first. They have new ideas, but... Or this is working with other people after a betrayal. Yeah. After a betrayal with the water sign. Yeah, you're going to give your offer somewhere else. Either that or... This person comes in trying to get all this with you. But you're happily single. This is one of those think about it type of things. Um, you're working with new people after a betrayal. This person that you're dealing with, um, this fire sign with air could have water in their chart as well. Thank you. Sorry, hold on. Thank you, princess. Yeah, before I do that, Deception. So yeah, somebody was definitely deceptive here. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So yeah, I want to know. Okay, we're just gonna put the devil as this old person. We're gonna focus on them. The one with addictions. And then we're going to deal with this new one. Okay? We're going to see how both of these options turn out. What is your card? I'm sorry this is a super long reading, but this is how I normally do my generals. Um, normally I cut off half of it. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So this person that screwed the fuck out of you is coming back. Sorry, that was too many. Um, let's get another one on this old person. Where you can more or less pinpoint who we're talking about. So it's getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So this person that fucked you over in the past, maybe they're single now. And coming back. But yeah. I don't know if you can see that or not. It says love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. 
So I think that this person and this get to uh, know each other card, there are three people here. Four, five actually. There's uh, three people and then two kids. So this person might have children um, with one of you guys. I think there is an ex. See, because this one, this one over here with the kids is like, fuck you, I'm focused on this shiny shit over here, while this one down here is like infatuated, just paying attention to every word that he says. So, yeah, maybe you try, uh, this person tried to get back with the baby mama, baby daddy, and realized that you were who they needed. Either that, or this person is getting back with their ex. I don't think that's the case, but... Because I felt so much regret in the initial reading. I'm going to pull that. This could be the one. Yeah. Learning that you were there once. You've already met the romantic person, you, a partner you seek. So they passed you by. And now they're coming in, trying to get to know the real you. But... I think you have somebody new. Let's go to this Knight of Cups. If it pops up with anything with children, um, <laughs> children. <laughs> I'm sorry. I look like a retard, but okay, this new person is the old person could be just them in a different energy like they've dropped everything and they're tired of the block communication they're ready to come out of the cold um it says it is safe for you to love attraction let's see what this one forgiving and learning yeah it's definitely somebody from your past stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance and as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So this person wants you to realize that they, yeah, they know they fucked up. But this is asking you to forgive them. Not only to forgive them personally, but for yourself. Because forgiveness, it, it helps you grow. It really does. It takes a lot, but it helps you go. It, Either before this was an unrequited love situation, or they're scared that you don't feel the same. Separation. Yeah, maybe they needed this separation in order to figure out that you were their soulmate. And they might be getting some sort of help from their friends. In order to talk to them about what the fuck is going on to see if like you guys would be able to get together but they have to get rid of these addictions first like could definitely be a sexual addiction like they had their hand in too many cookie jars while they were with somebody you know and you found out okay we're gonna throw you back to the wolves buddy I'm just kidding, you might accept this person back, but, and they might have changed with the cards, it looks like they're in a different mind after somebody hurt them the way that they hurt you. Okay, but we're going to do these um, addictions real quick, because I feel like you guys, either this or this is them obsessing about you. Obsessing over making shit right. Hello. 
Again, you're blocking it out regardless. Uh, let's see if you're gonna take this offer. You still think they're manipulative. Either that or they are coming in whenever they really haven't changed this situation. Sorry, I have my system. So this is more of hmm, I don't know if I should do addiction or Let's see how they feel about you. They see that you're balanced. Either that or karmic justice is balancing out. Um, they're watching you cut motherfuckers out. Like these were the exact same cards as earlier. So definitely, they see you as their ten of cups. They see you moving towards and going towards your passions or someone else. And now they're awakening and cutting out this other party. They're trying to give you your justice. Yeah, they see you cutting... Cause this, I believe this is you. They see you as balanced, but they also see you as their ten of cups. They want a new beginning. They're. It seems like I can't tell if this is them or you, but I highly feel like it's them. And this energy is you because it popped out earlier as well. I think they're going to cut shit out for you. I think they're saving money to do so. Yeah. Because they want to build either that or they see you getting close to someone. And they don't want to make this a three-party situation. So there's a lot of regret. You could be building with a fire sign. Or this is them wanting to build with you. And come in with this passion. Because there's a lot of wands here. Um, you also have three kings here, so they might see you feel like you have options. But there's passion. Yeah. They see you as pa very passionate. Going towards your new beginning and you having options. But you're their ten of cups. Alrighty, guys. Um... Huh. Yeah, they see you changing. You found your balance. They're dealing with uh, Scorpio with Sagittarius in their chart or Sagittarius with Scorpio in their chart. Could be any fire sign, but there's definite. Again. Cancer by Scorpio, Scorpio or Aries. This is Libra. That could be what you have in your chart or what they have in their chart. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Again. And this is all fire. So they might have 
like only a few placements of air in their shorts. Um, could be Libra specifically. I see this kind of as a Capricorn card, personally, because Capricorns are all about workhorses, right? And this is work as well, so I kind of... Yeah, that or Taurus. Could be Taurus. Because I know the Taurus like the finer things in life and they'll work together. So they could have Taurus, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, some Leo. Possibly Cancer or Pisces in their chart. Alrighty guys, um, again, thank you for your time. I am sorry if this didn't resonate with everyone. Um, my email will be in the description box if you need a personal reading. Uh, I also sell oils and candles. If you guys want homemade oils and candles to fit your zodiac, I can do that as well. Um, I have oils for alignment. And I also have some for kind of soothing and healing purposes. Um, and also, I'm going to be creating starter boxes for anybody who wants to do tarot. Or um, wants to kind of get started. I'm going to start putting um, at least one box of tarot cards with my own personal cheat sheet along with a candle, um, some healing crystals, I'm going to hand pick those, um, maybe some incense and sage, throwing them in there. Um, I'm still trying to figure out prices for them because I am, again, I'm just starting out with making them. But holler at me if you want and I will give you the choices that you'll have and stuff like that. What kind of stones there are or I'll handpick a bag for you. Or we can just do separate stones, you know what I mean? Um... But holler at me in my email if you want that done. Um, again, have a nice day. I have my Facebook is Michelle Hellington. Add me there. Um, I also have an Instagram, but I don't really get on it. So, yeah. Maybe we'll start something there, but I'm not for sure yet. Anyways, thank you and have a good day.